no tunicate using lidocaine as the anesthetic agent and epinephrine to control the hemostasis. Uh, for decades, elective epinephrine used in the finger has been blamed for the uh, finger ischemia. However, studies have proved that it wasn't epinephrine but procaine and cocaine which was uh, blamed for the digital artery in, uh, digital infarction. Uh, this is famous, a famous extensive study which is known as the Dalhousie Project Clinical Phase uh, which involved 3,110 cases where elective epinephrine injection in the finger and the hand were given by nine surgeons in six different cities. Not a single finger was compromised or required fentolamine rescue. The aim of the study was to confirm the efficacy and technique of using local anesthesia, lidocaine and epinephrine in hand surgeries. The study was conducted between October 2019 and Feb 2020 at a Toshiri Care Center in Navi Mumbai on 42 patients planned for hand surgeries including carpal tunnel, trigger finger, decurvance release to evaluate the time of onset of anesthesia, the duration of intervention and the post-operative complications. The maximum safe dose was observed to be 7 mg per kg considering an individual with 70 kg body weight. It was found to be uh, uh, found that 49 ml of 1% lidocaine with uh, 1 is to 1 lakh, uh, the ratio of uh, epinephrine could be safely used in an individual. The technique involves uh, buffering with 1% lidocaine and 1 is to 1 lakh ratio of epinephrine with 10 is to 1 ratio of 8.4 sodium bicarbonate. Do not use refrigerated local anesthetic. Inject local anesthetic with small gauze needles. Create sensory noise in the area of injection. Stabilize the syringe with both your hands and uh, your thumb ready on the plunger to avoid pain of a moving needle. Inject 0.5 ml with a perpendicular needle just under the dermis and then pause until the patient sees the needle pain is gone. Never let the needle get ahead of the local anesthetic. They say blow slow before you go. Uh, Reinsert the needles within one centimeter of the blanched, unblanched border. Learn from each patient you inject by asking him or her to give you a score. Too much anesthetic is better than not enough local anesthetic. Uh, just in case you face any complications, the uh, drug of choice for antidote is fentolamine, which is an alpha adrenergic blocking agent injected into the subcutaneous fat. Uh, the dose is 1 mg diluted in same volumes as saline. The complications normally faced are epinephrine rush, which could be shakiness or nervousness. Uh, the patient could complain of loss of consciousness or fainting. It is very important to recognize that someone is going to faint after your uh, local anesthetic. Uh, these are signs which the patient could come up with. He or she may be pale in the central upper face. If your pa patient is showing signs that he or she is about to get faint, get more blood to the brain with the following gravity changing maneuvers. Ask the patient to lie down, raise the lower limbs above the heart level. Place the pillow under the feet and a head low position is very important. Now, why do surgeons should prefer volant surgery? Can make the adjustments on repair tendons and finger fractures after seeing active movements and check strength on table. Can operate on patients with multiple medical problems if safely and easily. No cautery and tunic is required. We get, the, we get to educate the patient during the surgery for better outcomes and fewer complications. We perform more cases in the same amount of time at less cost. Uh, now, these are images uh, which show the uh, landmarks where the local anesthetic agent can be given. This is for the carpal tunnel syndrome. This is for a finger and a re amputation. Uh, these are for the trigger fingers. Trigger thumb and trigger finger. For decurvance release. And a flexor sheath ganglion, uh, which is also important. In a flexor sheath block, this is actually a flexor sheath block, any fracture or any trauma to the fingers. This is a very useful technique. Uh, now, these are the poor experiences which we haven't faced, but these are uh, pictures from the studies uh, from volant surgeries. If anything goes wrong, this could be the possible outcomes. Thank you.